Hello everyone. Last week I decided to abandon my classic character and instead start on one of the first servers. I didn't expect the European servers to be up so quickly because when we saw the launch the day before on the US servers there was a long maintenance. So I was a bit too late for the launch but nonetheless I tried to catch up as fast as possible. This is also the first time where I'm going to level as a horde so I decided to follow the rest of the experience leveling guide. On my way to 70 I decided to not focus on any professions besides first aid. The reason for this is because I knew that professions were going to slow down my leveling and the moment that I level slower I will also have more competition against other people who do the same quest and there might even be more pvp happening as well and then I could potentially spend a lot of time corpse running. Nonetheless then I managed to catch up even though I was too late for the launch and I almost made it to top 10 level 70s on the server. One thing I noticed about the other persons at level 70 was that they went straight into battlegrounds and I felt like I had to take advantage of being one of the first 70s and therefore I decided to speed level my mining. So I went to the auction house and purchased ores and melted them into bars. That way I leveled up my mining super quickly. There were of course a few levels where I had to go to the open world to level up my mining but also collect the materials because they weren't on auction house. But when you watch this video right now this is not going to be a problem and you can always purchase the ores and melt them into bars. So for the next couple of days I simply just continued to mine and make a lot of ores and gems. And people continued to do pvp so I could easily farm these without too much competition. On top of this I also had a lot of raw gold by this point. Well at least compared to the average person. So because of this I could spend all of this gold into materials for different professions and all these materials I could get rather cheap. So I ended up with 5 bank characters completely filled with materials and these investments I plan to sell late on. Probably as we get closer to the release of Wrath of the Lich King. At least I need the materials to get more expensive before I will sell them. So because all the materials were also cheap then it was also the perfect time for me to level up my profession. So I decided to level up engineering and by leveling this from 1 to 300 I spent around 200 gold. And from level 300 to 350 I just farmed the materials because I couldn't purchase them on the auction house. But since I had no competition then I could easily farm these materials and get to 350. So at this point I'm now ready for Wrath of the Lich King. And I plan to keep my mining so I can gather materials when I'm leveling from 70 to 80. Another thing I've also decided to do is the daily quest. And this usually takes around 1 hour to do and grants you between 150 to 200 gold. There are two things I would also recommend you to do as fast as possible, but also every single day. This is going to be the daily PvP quest that you can pick up in any PvP location. This PvP quest will grant you a lot of honor when you complete it, but usually I just skip this if it's not Elthric Valley. On top of this, farming Elthric Valley right now is not going to be good unless you watch this video in the weekend. Because the next weekend we're going to have the Elthric Valley weekend. So when it's the Elthric Valley weekend, you'll grant a lot more honor when you do this BG. And for that specific reason, I haven't really found PvP gear yet, simply because I'm going to save a lot of time if I just do BGs during the weekend. Talking about PvP, then every single day it's important to head to Hellfire and pick up the daily PvP quest. Completing this will grant you almost 1900 honor, so by doing this for 10 days, you'll also have enough honor to buy a two-hand brutal gladiator weapon. So remember to do this quest, but also Elthric Valley as much as possible. This will grant you Brutal Gladiator gear in next to no time, and that's the fast way to gear up your character before Wrath of the Lich King. As I was leveling my character from 1 to 70, there was a lot of spells that I skipped to save gold from my mount. So I recommend you to do this in case there's a spell that you don't really need to upgrade. So by doing this, I could pretty much afford my mount at level 40, but also at level 60, and this made me level faster but also complete quests even faster. And that way make even more gold every single hour. What I've also started doing recently is to complete all the quests at level 70. When you do this you will grant a lot of additional gold and every single item you just went up right away to make even more. So right now I'm making between 200 to 300 gold every single hour just by completing the quest at max level. And when my character's max level these quests are also super easy to do. Especially if you get a Brutal Gladiator weapon. I've also found a guild that is going to raid every single TBC raid until the release of Wrath of the Lich King. This is to get as good gear as possible before we have to level to 80 in Wrath of the Lich King. Overall all these raids have been nerfed and they feel so easy. Most of our guild members currently have green or blue items and of course some of us also a couple of Brutal Gladiator items. 
but still we're able to take down tier 4, 5 and we have recently started doing tier 6 content as well. My plans for the next couple of weeks is probably to get enough gold for my epic flying mount but also do more investments. My different investments and raw gold I'm going to spend on new things in the beginning of Wrath of the Lich King. And all these things that I'll purchase in the beginning of Wrath of the Lich King I've shared in a member only video. But you can also learn more about this in my Wrath of the Lich King gold making guide. This you can find in the description below the video. But as always, thank you so much for watching and have an amazing day. Peace.